The one subject that has overseas companies talking about the Chinese mainland is brand protection. How do you maintain your integrity and yet also make the profits that you require? Terence Tam is the China business advisor for the HKTDC, and he's got several stories, no doubt, to tell. But first of all, Terence, can you really protect your brand on the Chinese mainland today? The core for brand protection in China is to register your trademark in China, because China is a first-to-file country. That means if you don't register your trademark in China, unfortunately, your trademark being registered by third party or third guys, you are the one who infringe his rights. So overseas brands can't operate on the Chinese mainland because they're already in use. Yes, there are some cases happen like that. Uh, well, it causes a lot of procedures through the courts to finally get it back. But it takes time. During the court period time, you can't do business at the moment. So the best way is to register your trademark in China immediately to protect your interests in China. So trade registration as a protective shield is that actually effective? Well, at least it is, because if you register the trademark in China, that means you own the rights first. On the other hand, later, if some guys infringe your rights, you want to sue in through the court or you complain to the government department, you got to have the rights first. Otherwise, the court or the, the government department didn't take your case. So trademark registration is the core stone for the whole brand building in China. So what are some of the ways that infringers try to sit in your seat as they say on the mainland? Well, there's uh, several ways. One is they just register your trademark if they know you haven't done it. If you register your English, for example, or foreign language trademark in China, but normally you will declare your Chinese version. They will register your Chinese version in China. This is the way they infringe your rights. And when we talk about brand protection, we're not just talking about names, we're talking about colors, we're talking about patterns, we're talking about the whole brand. Well, when we talk about a brand, usually you, have, you will have a logo to represent the brand. The combination of a brand will have wordings, we have a different size, all this, in legal terms, we call it trademark. So trademark registration means you register the size of your logo in China. So how is Chinese law actually developing against this form of brand snatching? Actually, China's law has been amended, um, amended and amended in, uh, in the past few years, and it is getting closer to international standards. Today, in China's trademark law, there's uh, some calls to protect those very big international brand names. But there are some cases like that. The definitions of international brick brand name. It's, it is not easy to have that kind of definitions. So it, it will all, always cause some arguments inside. If you find a service agent in China to assist you to do the trademark registration in China, the cost for one category is around 2,000 RMB. So it is not that high. Is that the only way to stop infringers? Actually, when you, after you re register your trademark in China, that means you got the rights, you got the certificate. Still, there's a, quite a lot of copycats, infringers to infringe your rights. Then my advice is, it is good for you to take actions. Through your lawyer, send the infringers a letter to warn him. And on the other hand, you, can, you may collect evidence and shoo him through the court or file your complaint to government department. You need to let the infringers know that you will take actions in order to stop th those guys for further infringe your rights. So Terence, would you say that Hong Kong is a more effective place from which to stop these brand infringements on the mainland? Hong Kong is, uh, has a very sound legal system to help uh, foreign brands because our trademark registration is good, our enforcement is good. And on the other hand, Hong Kong is a very good demonstration platform for the Chinese customers. If they come to Hong Kong, they find you in Hong Kong, and they have a greater confidence that you are the real one. You are not the fake one.